Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 37 of Building the DeLorean, the Back to the Future time machine car. Yes, it's getting there. The chassis is coming together. It's all starting to... It doesn't look like that yet, but you can sort of see the shape coming together. Uh, in this issue, we've received the rear wheel arches and fixing screws. So we're going to be putting the arches on the back, just like we put the arches on the front. Hopefully better. I think I had a little trouble with one of the arches on that. So hopefully these are okay, but we'll find out in a little while. This is what we're going to be doing. We're using the pontoons that we built last time. I still don't know what they are. They're just boxes or something that go on the front. Yes, we're doing the front. So yes. No, rear. We're doing the rear. These go at the back. The front's... I'm very confused. The front hasn't got the engine. That's why I'm confused, because engines go at the front in cars, except for this car well it don't it goes on the back but before we do that we'll have a quick look at the rest of the magazine uh the uh behind the scenes uh multiplying marty by motion control uh yes they doubled up the characters in a couple of scenes where they obviously he had to be in the foreground and the background and yes uh now it would be a little bit easier to do but back then that's what they used um obviously again if it was doubled as young and old Things you don't think about when they do it in the in the films, and then you think that would be really difficult to do. So uh, yeah, there we go. Um, George Fondu was given an Academy Award for the scientific and technical category. Uh, Harry Walton Jr. Um, yeah, played Marvin Berry. Obviously, that was that. You know the one you were saying you were looking for? Yeah, we we found it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, next time we get some wiring. Yes, because we've got the battery box. Bit, haven't we now? So we, we're going to add some wires to it. Covers by the looks of it as well. Uh, yeah, uh, it's the left rear fender and detailed stepwise tech instructions telling you how to assemble it. I'd be interested to do that. That's going to be looking good. Right, so this is what we've got now. I should get the parts together and obviously the car itself and we'll get these done. It shouldn't be a long build. I know I say that quite a lot, but this one does look like it's going to be quite a short build. So here we have the parts from this time. They look like they're a good shape. They don't seem to be distorted. Maybe a little bit. Maybe one of them's a little bit off. It's not quite the same. But we'll worry about that when we come to fit them. First of all, we're going to be fitting. Uh, they're all using the DM screws. This is a nice easy part of the build that we're all using the same screws. So let's get out a bunch of them. Apparently we'll get out all but one of them, which is probably the right number. Find out in a minute. Uh, and then we've got to put the pontoons on there. Not that one. That one goes on there. Uh, what we've got? We've got a little locating pin and a locating hole. The about there, and then a screw and a screw to go in there. We'll see if that works. Let's try it and see. Should be nice and easy. Pretty much nice and easy. Let's get that in there. That one in much the same on the other side. Uh, and then it comes to put that in place. But before I do that, I'm going to get the other one done because I think it's going to be much easier to do everything. And then get the car up rather than have to do that, then get the car down, then get the car back up. It's just going to be messing around, isn't it? We'll get that pin located. That screw in there. I will need to tighten these up anyway. There we go. Actually, I'm going to pull out a normal screwdriver to get these tightened. Going into the metal is often not as easy with the lightweight screwdriver that I've got, which is fine for the small electronic stuff, but not so good for the big meaty chunky fittings that I've got to do on some of these. So let's get those all in there. there go. And then we'll get the wheel arches assembled and indeed attached. Uh, it looks like they are affixing with three screws each. So let's see what I've got. I've got three screws there. Three screws. I've got one extra screw out, so I don't need that one. I'll put that back in there and that will be added to the pile of spares that is very fast becoming a big box of spares for this build. Uh, so that's that. Let's move those out the way a bit. Bring the chassis up like so. 
and we'll get one fitted over here. Uh, that one is going to go over that side. Uh, again, we've got a locating pin there, uh, two screws and another screw down the bottom there. So that's just going to sit on there like that. Nice and easy. That went on there fine. This one is, again, get that lined up in there. There, and that's uh, yeah there we go it's it's not quite right but it's not as far off as the other one is let's get that side in first and then see yeah that's just a little bit off of there so we can pop that in there a little bit that should be fine like that but it will be once i get some screws in uh so i'm going to use the normal screwdriver on this i think let's get one screw down the bottom there that's not going anywhere. Let's see if we can't get this lined up and popped home like it was a second ago. Get that held in there. Screw in the end there. Oh, I will obviously again go back and tighten all these up, make sure they're all nice and secure. For now, that's that. Let's get the other ones in. This should be very easy on this side because it's got the tension that the other side had for some reason. Yeah, that one in there. One down there. Oh, not quite lined up. There we go. And the last screw of this part, this stage, will go in there. Right. So yes, so far so good. I'll get them tightened up, but it, it's starting to come together. It's starting to look like it's getting heavy as well. Even though it's a smaller car, it's getting quite substantial. So yes, I'm liking it so far so good. Thank you very much for joining me on the part of the build. I shall see you very shortly where we're going to start playing with more electrics. We've got wires and stuff. Look, you've got some even more next time. So I'll see you soon for that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. <laughs> Oh,